Today we're going to take a look at adding an I model to our control project using the project-wise connection. So first we'll want to go to administration, then manage I models. You can see I have a model here already, so we'll create a new one. We'll want to give it a name, and then we have the option to set up this I model for scheduling service. So what that does is creates a connection between 4D Pro control and field. I already have this selected for my first model that I created so you're only allowed to have this option selected one model per project. So we'll hit create. Now that our iModel shell has been created we'll go to connections. Now you can see here is we have our project wise option before we jump into that let's talk about this individual file connectors. So if I turn this on this will give me the ability to create a connection with multiple different uh, design files. For instance you may have part of your model created in Revit, the other in MicroStation and so on, right? So if you have multiple types of design files you can select this and it will process them all together instead of having to do those individual connections. So select project wise. From here we'll have to put in our project wise WSG server URL. Select get data source. Then we'll have to select the data source that we want and then the work area that we want as well. So from here we can navigate to the files that we need. Once you've navigated to your files, we'll select all the files that we want to use. Once you have selected all the files that you require, hit next. Now it's going to want us to define our geo coordinate system, right? So we want to pick the file that's going to designate uh, the geolocation of our project. So we'll pick one, hit next. So as you can see, it automatically identifies the processing select files to MicroStation. We can hit next. Now we'll give it a name. We have the option here to set up a synchronization schedule. So you could do every four hours, daily, weekly. For this, we'll just leave it off. We can go back and update that later if we want. And then I'll hit create. So now we'll want to select our file and we're going to want to hit synchronize. As you can see here, it's in the queue. It will shortly start to synchronize and give you update in the details as to when your files have been successfully uploaded. If for some reason there's an error, it'll show you uh, under the details as well. Once all your files have synced, you'll see everything says succeeded. Now we can go back to our Synchro Control project and we can view our model. So now here we can see our model in our control project where we can start tagging issues, RFIs, forms, inspections too. So if everything looks good, we'll want to go back to our Manage I model. Then we can give it a named version. To do that, we'll hit the little flag and then we can just call this our bid set. Add a description if we want and hit create. So now we have a name version. If we have any change orders or updates to our model, we can create another version and have a list of our different versions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.